<laughs> it's a creepy voice in your mind, then you are yeah. something wrong. <laughs> But you, do you think that now also with uh, dating apps, approaching someone at a bar or in the street now is weird now that everyone is used to I dating mean, apps? Here's the thing. I, I was always told in Berlin, especially men do not approach women. It's actually the women approach men. Mm -hmm. This is something I've learned. And I I had fellas approach me the odd time on the street. I remember one time in particular, I was actually on the way to a date and a guy stopped me and he was like, hey, can I buy you a coffee? And I was like, no, I'm going on a date. And, <laughs> but I love the idea of someone approaching me or me approaching them. And I have come into 2024 with that intention of like approaching men in bars instead. I'm really done with the apps now. I've realized they're not for me. It's not working. I think we should all be approaching people. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I know it's awkward. It's uncomfortable. But If you're rejected, it's not the end of the world. There's trillions of people out there and no can sometimes just mean no. You mm. don't need to put it back on yourself. It's not that you're ugly. It's not that you're short. It's nothing. It's just no. We yeah. have to stop overthinking it. And I love to say rejection is protection from the universe. So maybe it wasn't meant to be. Ah, you know what I mean? Good way to see yeah. it. Yeah. I like, I just think we all need to kind of go backwards a bit. And so I don't know if you know about this pair ring. Have you ever heard of that? Uh, yeah, yeah. Did you hear about yes. it? Yes. I'm so glad. But I hear from you. <laughs> Did you? Oh, yeah. that's what we're um, Well, I honestly don't even use it now anymore because um, I did try look up their meetups. They they had one or two. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they had it connected with, with the meetup. And I think you as a person, if you had the ring, you could organize this meetup. I don't oh. want to be like, um, like telling negative things about them because mm -hmm, I don't know mm -hmm. what they're doing right now I, mm. I hope it's improving but uh, it didn't really take off in Berlin I had two women at one stage oh, ask really? me randomly just oh is that the is that the dating ring or oh, yeah. the single the ring single. and I was like yeah and they were like has it worked for you and I'm like no <laughs> 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 but I think it's a great idea and it just encourages people to go and talk to someone and it, it's a great um, yeah. conversation starter I mean it was interesting to see that it, it, like normally you see a ring and that, that means that they are in a commitment relationship or they are married or whatever But having a ring to identify people that they're single and they are looking for somebody, I thought, okay, that sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you don't know. It is better to know in beforehand. Otherwise, you will go into this situation in which they say, yeah. ah, sorry, I'm in a relationship. Okay, sorry, I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Or, or it's, something it's a like perfect that. segue into just yeah, asking yeah. hair. Also, Let's, for example, you know, in the office, something. we used to work together, Benji and I, and we were once in the office and your girl... Uh, just got started in the office. She I think was from somewhere in East Europe. And then we were talking, you know, like typical, uh, you go to the, how do they say, water cooler, but here is the, the coffee machine. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the water cooler, we don't have that. <laughs> the sprudel machine. <laughs> sprudel, sprudel machine. machine. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, she, yeah, so we were talking to her and then I felt that she was some sort of uh, flirting. And... Then she said, oh, yeah, you should come to that place uh, where she comes from. It's super cool and so on, but like in a bit of a flirty way. And then I mentioned, yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm married and something like that. I, I don't remember how do I say it, but I noticed the awkward moment when the face, oh, okay. oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was like well, a bit how do you react awkward. To yeah. 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 And yeah, since we don't use rings, my wife or I, we don't use the rings. So yeah, that, the ring would have maybe be more intuitive to know. That. May I ask why yeah. you don't use a ring? Because I actually know a few married people here, they don't have rings at all. Oh, uh, mm. I don't know. She doesn't use jewelry and okay. I'm also not used to it. And we married very in a low budget. So we spend a lot of money on the other stuff. So we said, okay, this 1,000 euros that cost the, uh, the ring, we can... Uh, save it. We can get rings home, uh, later. Mm -hmm. We bought some fake gold rings that mm -hmm. end up not being so good for the skin. Oh, or they at go least, green. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, we used it for some time and then we, in the end we said, okay, this is actually not so good for the skin. And yeah. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah. interesting. So that was a little bit the reason. But that would have helped in that moment. And also if you're looking for Uh, yeah, yeah. Then to have a ring that says, "Hey, I'm oh, available. something, something that is saying I'm single." I mean, actually, that was the party. reason because uh, Facebook was so popular because had an a, a tag that it was saying, "I am single. I'm looking that's for somebody." Says, yeah. Yes, that's a yeah, good yeah. point. The status <laughs> was up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then they, everyone has it's complicated. So uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then it was just like basically that means don't talk to me. But, but, <laughs> but anyway, though, I mean, even if you did talk to someone, if you try chatting them up and and they were married then that's your answer. Just 
go along with your life now. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. yeah. It, but, uh, it's, it's awkward, but... It, but it's also good practice. You yeah. just keep doing it. So because what I've decided to do this year, and I mentioned that on my own podcast, is that I'm going to Irish bars more. Mm. They are overpriced and they are <laughs> sticky carpets. But I tell you, that's my comfort zone. Mm-hmm. I go in and I talk to people also because I'm the token Irish woman in, a, in an Irish bar in Berlin. And they're like, oh, and you live here? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> they're mostly like, why are you here then? But like, I go in and I can talk to people so easily in Irish bars here because mm. I've realised that Berlin bars have the same amount of fun as a wine bar does. Do you the know what I mean? what? They, it has the same amount of fun and interaction ah, okay. as a wine bar. Mm. Low uh-huh. lit, there's no real fun. There's no banter. There's mm. no joy okay, in yeah. a wine bar. Yeah, Everyone's yeah. sitting down with their group ah, yeah, of people. Yeah, yeah. They're sipping on their wine. They're yeah. very calm. They're drunk. Very but they're not having fun. <laughs> very, yeah, exactly. So I have realised that that is kind of that's the vibe of bars in Berlin. Wine bars. Mm, Wine bar vibes. Mm, good point. Good yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh-